Okay, I'm going to walk through a dollar value LIFO problem. Um, this is all you have information. You can either print this out, or if you have it on a handout, you can open up your handout to go to it. Um, I have, we'll have two dollar value LIFO problems, but I'll probably put them in uh, two different videos. So, if you look at this one, the information says inventory end of the year prices in the price level index. What dollar value LIFO tries to do is keep your inventory, um, yes, remove inflation effects. So um, please follow along with me and don't write this all down, write it as we go along. So I'm going to have um, my, I'm gonna start with 2014. So this is the only year I'm gonna have. So I'm going to uh, kind of change the colors on the ones and they do. So I have 2014, I have 200, and the price level index is one. So this column is inventory at base year prices. If you can think about this, it's either got to stay the same or go lower, because as long as you have inflation, I'm bringing, it, I'm bringing inflation out. So when we go through these, notice this one is lower than that, this one is lower than that, this one is lower than that. It will always be lower. So if you forget which direction to take it, remember it's cheaper in the past, base year prices are in the past, it's gotta go down, okay? Then I have determined my base layer in year one since the index is 100 or 100%. Um, it's going to be the same, so my base layer is all 200. Then I bring it back to today, so the index is 100. So this first year is a little bit confusing, mainly because I have no inflation. So my base layer is all of it. My index is 100. I bring it back to today, so 200 times $1. And this, this one is going to get more expensive because I'm bringing it back to today. So I have total of $200, okay? Um, it doesn't really get complicated until year two or three and then when I eliminate some layers. So in 2015, I have 299 uh, dollars at 115. I bring it back to the base year. So again, I take, I know that this number has to be lower, so don't multiply it, I need to divide. So 299 divided by 115 will bring it back to remove the inflation effects. And then I want to break out my layers. The layer will always come down from here if I have enough. So 260 is more than 200, so I have my 200. And the other $60 is now comes from 215. So in other words, this is dollar value LIFO. LIFO means I sell the most recent. So if I had some $10 ones and some $12 ones, I'm always selling the $12 ones and the $10 ones are the ones that are staying. So in other words, my $200 item layer is going to be the one that remains throughout. And so if you look at this, 200, 200, 200, 200, it is remaining. I can't liquidate that layer, but for now we're not gonna talk about that. Okay, so I've split it up between the old layer and the new layer. So this is my 2014 layer. This is my 2015 layer. So now that I brought it back to the base year prices, I'm gonna bring it back forward. So I keep the year, so this 200 was at one, so 200 is at one, so my uh, base year is right there. So this comes from that, this one comes from right there. This is 2015 layer. So I bring it back up, notice it's getting more expensive or the same, in case of 100%. So I have my 269. So my inventory is 269, which is simply the 200 plus 69. My LIFO reserve, so notice my inventory is 299. My inventory should be 269. So my LIFO reserve is $30,000. So I'm going to debit cost of goods sold and I'm going to credit allowance to reduce in inventory to LIFO. So I'm making inventory go down um, by an allowance account. Okay, in 2016, I have 300. Okay, so I do this all the same color. 
for my year. So in 2016, light one there. I take my 300, I bring it back to base year, so I divide by the 120, because this is inventory at end of year prices. I bring it back to 120, so I have 250. Now I need to figure out what it's made of. It's made of the original $200, and then I have 50 more of the 60. I move toward this layer right there, the 115. So notice I only have 250, so this is 50. Okay, so what's going to happen is I do not have a 2016 layer at all because I didn't have a, if this were 270, I'd have 200 here, 60 there, and 10 at my 2016 layer. But since I didn't even get through my 2015 layer, I will have no $1.20 or 120% layer. Okay, so I bring it back forward. 2014 is 1, 2015 is 115. So I bring it forward, multiply it up. So I get 257, the 200 plus 57. Okay, and I have my inventory at 257. Um, it's on my books for 300,000, okay, and I need to, pause this, okay, so I need to, my now my difference is 300,000 minus 257, so my reduction in inventory at end of year prices is 42.5 now. So I need to reduce inventory by an additional 12.5. It's already got 30,000 in it. I need it to have 42.5 in it. So I need to add an additional 12,500. So notice this is a contra asset. So inventory has been reduced by 30,000. Now I need it to be reduced by 42.5. It already has 30,000 in it. So I need to add an additional 12.5. So there's my debit and credit. Uh, so cost of goods sold will be increased by 12.5. The allowance will be increased by 12.5. So it now has 42.5 in it. Next year, 2017. So in 2017, I have bring down my 351,000 at 130. So I bring it back to base year. Again, this has to be lower. So now I go down my layers. I'm starting up here. I never go way back up to here because I've already um, eliminated $10,000 of that layer. So I have all $200,000 of my um, 2014 layer. I have $50,000 of my 2015 layer. Okay, I can't add up to the 6,000. It's sold, it's gone. Once I get rid of it, it's gone called life, LIFO liquidation. So I needed to add up to 270. So the 20,000 comes from 2017. So notice what happens that I do not have a 2016 layer because my overall inventory went down. So now I bring it back to current year prices in my layers. Lost my color there. Um, so 2,000 times a dollar is 200,000, or 200,000 times a dollar is 200,000, 50,000 times 115, etc. So I add up the 257 and 26, I get 283, 5. So I take 270, I'm sorry, 351 minus my 283, 5 to get my 67,500. Um, I need that difference to be 67,500. It's already got 42,500 in it. So I need to add an additional 25,000. And that's it.